Hey guys, welcome back. So some demonology here again based on my experience. I don't always want to say it for those who watch my vids regularly, for those newcomers. Please guys, everything I'm teaching you, I believe it to be true because I've experienced it. So whether it's a spiritual teaching on demonology or the archangels or any pantheon or energy, it is my experience, okay? If you've experienced something differently, feel free to share it. I, I don't see any right or wrongs i see learning opportunities okay so let's chat a bit about the demon president valak firstly this again um, i feel very strong about ignore everything you've seen on the movies at this absolute bullshit um i'm going to be teaching you i'm going to share with you his incantation basic candles to use for him and offerings and he's what is a bit different so let's start with his sigil, which you are going to need, I'll start showing you that, okay, there we go, you can hand draw that, which you go into on your initial petition to him, and again, once you set up an altar for entity, you can put um, printed sigils of his as well, that's cool, that's bonus, but what is uh, non-negotiable is your written petition, which will be on an A4 page, his incantation on top, slash dialing code, uh, if you'd like to interpret that, and his hand drawn sigil there. And in the welcoming message would, would be words of welcoming the specific entity, okay? Introducing yourself and very briefly asking for relationship and whatever else it is you're looking for. But when it comes to bigger asks, leave that for after your initial invocation. So that first three to five days of ritual, leave that for welcoming entity, praising entity, introducing yourself and just being present and giving him honor and thanks, okay? So to do so, his incantation on top, which is Avaje Sokore Onka Valak, or Valak, okay? One red, one yellow candle, both of these names scribed in it. You can use eucalyptus or um, sandalwood oil for that, that's, that's both fine. His offerings, um, white wine, don't use red or whiskey, just use white wine and seafood. I know it sounds a bit odd, but seafood has a very high vibration with him. It can be cooked or raw. Either way, once it's placed out there, I would cling wrap it or something that um, it's going to go funky. <coughs> okay, he, um, he is extremely powerful and he's multifaceted in his diversity. His main attribute, right, first is he's a master of the mind. And as we know, and if you don't know, I'm telling you now, the mind controls everything. The mind controls our reality, the way we perceive things, the way we feel, the way we act, everything. So he's a master of the mind. Think about it for a second and multifaceted. So he can help you heal your mind. He can help you strengthen your mind. He can help you control your mind. And as a result, he can help you do the same for others or onto others. Again, it's based on correct working. But yes, he can control people's minds to your favor or change their minds. Whether your intent is good for that person or bad or justified. He can most definitely help it. He's master of the mind, period. He's a, his energy to me came across as very stern, but pleasant. Like very pleasant, not jumping all over the place, joyful shit, but pleasant, but extremely stern. Like one of those really, really good principles you've had in your life. Pleasant, but stern. Which to me says a lot. Um, his appearance can be that of not the nun, but very, very young, right? And it can gradually change depending who he's appearing to and why, what he chooses to do, but from very, very young, okay? And to alien. And I don't really like using the term, but alien, like actually in the sense that we've seen in a lot of clips, like the reptilian version, he can actually come across looking like that. So that is Valak, okay? And again, please keep in mind, once you spend time with him and you petition him for something, don't, Go outside of this realm. He is master and Lord Supreme of the mind, healing of the mind, manifestation, creation from the mind, because everything is created there firstly. Um, and again, to strengthen these abilities in yourself, meditate within his presence after the invocation. Meditate on his sigil. Breathe in his sigil. Breathe it into your mind and declare with him that this is now happening to your mind or happening to someone else's mind. But if you're not sure how to do that, rather hit me up, have a consultation and learn how to do these things correctly. Again, guys, have a good one. Be good or not, okay?